Hi everyone and welcome to the Jesuit Institute. Holy Week has now begun as well as our second week of lockdown and we at the Jesuit Institute wanted to reach out and connect with you at the beginning of this week. Thank you for your feedback over the last week or so. We really appreciate all the emails and the messages. Most of our team is working remotely to try and reach out online as much as we can, except of course those of us who live here in the Jesuit community. You know friends, history is in the making. Might this be the first time in many of our lives that there are simply no Holy Week services? And this has caused anxiety and sadness, and we lament that we cannot gather to celebrate what is at the very heart of our faith. We feel that loss with you too. And there are two ways that we can live this Holy Week. Being frustrated, feeling restricted, and perhaps even angry with the situation we are in. We might be desperately searching online for resources, for the Tridium services to fill the hole that we feel now. But there is another approach. We can embrace this as a time of solitude, a time that offers us a great gift, the gift of being able to enter into the passion, the death and resurrection of Jesus like we have not before with the special people around us with whom we share this lockdown. God may be in fact giving us an unexpected gift in the form of the lockdown itself. And so I encourage you, don't be worried and anxious about not doing the things you normally do. The best way that you can live this time is with the Word of God. And so we invite you, read and reread the Scriptures. Share your reflections and your insights with each other as we move through this Holy Week together. Today we mailed a letter to our database and it's also available on our website telling you of the different opportunities that are available this week. There's a directed online retreat, there's audio reflections, there are prayer requests and something as well for children will be released. There is lots in that letter so please read it when you can. But what I really want to say is that the reality of COVID-19 is beginning to settle in as we start to hear that some people have died. We hear of people we know in our own circles who have been infected or affected. I've spoken to two people who have loved ones who are infected. One of them is in fact in hospital on a ventilator. And their anguish is palpable as they find it hard to even get updates from the hospital about their loved one. They cannot go to see them. And so they sit at home, terrified, and wait for any news. And that silence hurts. And so we want to assure you that if you are infected or affected, we are holding you in prayer at this time. But we know too that the pandemic goes beyond infection. The poorest of the poor, those in informal settlements, feel the pain of impoverishment. Some have no basic foodstuffs. Many have lost their livelihoods. If we can find ways of reaching out with food and donations, we would truly be living this Holy Week very well. We need each other at this time. Our care and our mutual concern is what we need to be cultivating most of all in this Holy Week. We're invited, I believe, like Simon of Cyrene, to lift the burden of the cross by accompanying one another spiritually and physically where we can at this time. That should be our main priority. And so if we can help you, if you need to speak to a trained spiritual director, please contact us. We have directors available and willing to speak to you. And finally, we are invited now, I believe more than ever, to be intentional in our patience, our compassion, our kindness and love towards each other. Thank you for 
listening to this message, please visit our website, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel for more information. And so may God bless you and keep you. May His face shine on you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you and your loved ones and give you His peace at this time.